like Rock Tales. There's never, ever, 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 ever been a show like Rock Tales. It's time for Robo Tales. Moses and the Burning Bush, Exodus chapters one through four. So in the land of Egypt, a new pharaoh came to the throne, who had no obligation to the descendants of Joseph. These, these Israelites, the population is vastly growing. There's too many of them. We have to do something to get rid of them. So the Egyptians made slave of them, and they were brutal taskmasters over them, forcing them to toil long and hard in the fields and building their, their cities. The pharaoh, the king of Egypt, soon devised a plan. I know what I'll do. Keep all the girls, all the newborn baby boys, eliminate them. And there was a time when a Hebrew family from Levi had a baby son that was born to them. The baby's mother saw that the baby was unusually handsome and she hid him at home for three months because of the king saying that all the little boys had to be eliminated and when she could no longer hide him she made a little boat from papyrus reeds waterproofed it with tar and put the baby in it and laid it among the reeds in the river's edge the baby's sister watched from a distance to see what would happen to him Well, this is actually what happened next. The princess, one of Pharaoh's daughters, came down to take a bath in the river. And she was walking along the riverbank, and she spotted the little boat and saw the baby. Oh, oh look, it's a baby. Oh, how cute. Oh, come on, let's go see the king. The princess was so excited that she brought the baby right away to the pharaoh. Dad, look what I oh, found baby. in the bulrushes. Isn't he cute? Oh, oh Dad. That's look a cute. Hebrew baby, right? Oh, I know, but look how cute he is. Please, yeah, can I keep him? Dad, can't that. you can't please, keep that. Please, I ordered for please, all the Hebrew babies please, to be eliminated. Please, you cannot have it. Dad, please, please, please. Okay, no. Oh, I'm hating. No. No. It's your responsibility. I will. Go. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Go. Thank you. One day, many years later, when Moses had grown up and become a man, he went out to visit his fellow Hebrews and saw the terrible conditions they were under. During his visit, he saw an Egyptian knock a Hebrew to the ground. Moses looked rocks. this way, and that, to be Moses, sure, no one was watching, then killed the Egyptian and hid his body in the sand. So Pharaoh heard about Moses killing the Egyptian and had him arrested and planned to execute him. How dare you! Interrupting my Pharaoh Chino and me admiring my Nikes that I got from now.com. Shame on you, Moses. But you killed one of my people. You're a Hebrew. That's uncalled for. That's unacceptable. I sentence you to death. But Moses escaped and ran away into the land of Midian. While Moses was in Midian, he met his wife, Zipporah, and started to raise a family. Several years went by, and the king of Egypt had died, 
The Israelites were groaning beneath their burdens, in deep trouble because of their slavery, and weeping bitterly before the Lord. He heard their cries from heaven and remembered his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to bring their descendants back to the land of Canaan. Looking down upon them, he knew the time had come for the rescue. So when one day when Moses was tending his flock, he looked and he saw a burning a fire over near Horeb, the mountain of God, and went to investigate. So Moses went to the mountain of Horeb to see what had caught his attention, the fire. And it says, the angel of Jehovah appeared to him as a flame of fire in the bush. When Moses saw the bush was on fire, but yet it didn't burn, he went over to investigate. Then God called out to him, Moses! Moses! What? Who is that? Moses, kneel, for you are on holy ground. The Lord told Moses, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Moses covered his face with his hands, for he was afraid to look at God. And the Lord said, I've seen the deep sorrows of my people in Egypt, and I have heard the pleas for freedom from their taskmasters. I have come to deliver them from the Egyptians and take them to the land flowing with milk and honey, the land where the Canaanites live. Yes, I've heard their wails and cries, and I have come to deliver them. And I am going to send you, Moses, to Pharaoh to demand that you let my people out of Egypt. Yes, see the Pharaoh. You, you Moses, you are the one I have chosen. I can't go see the Pharaoh. You must. And so he's Moses gonna, He's going to kill me. And so Moses asked God, "If I go, who should I tell them has sent me?" I will tell you to tell them Tell them that I am sent you. So Moses did as the Lord asked and decided to return to Egypt to rescue his people from bondage. Hi, kids. Hi kids. We're back. We missed you. Yeah, so what did you think about today's lesson, Moses? Yeah, that was cool. I mean, you see we're coming live from the throne room today. Yeah, Pharaoh said it was okay. Yeah, but he wouldn't let us sit in his throne. Yeah. yeah. He kind of likes it a lot. He's he's a little better once he gets his, uh, his Ferrocino. Yeah. yeah, he's he's a lo much nicer yeah. guy. Not near as cranky. Yeah. Um, so, this, this week's lesson was Moses, what we like to call the early years. Um, before... Uh, when he got, when he fled Egypt for his for fear of his life, the Pharaoh was going to have him killed. Mm -hmm. um, and then he spent many years in the land of Midian, raising his family, and he had put this all behind him. But God had other plans. Yeah, isn't it some, how we are the same way? You know, we yeah. we put things behind us and say, you know, I'm done with that. And the Lord brings it back to us and says, well, you know, wait a minute, I'm not quite done with you yet. Um, got to make sure you're listening for those words too yes and he came to him in a very dramatic way with the burning bush because mm -hmm. uh, the bush wasn't actually on fire right so because God was because God was in that zone right the fire was burning but the bush didn't didn't get burned up which is really cool yes just like the fiery furnace with Shadrach Meshach and Abednego yeah. They were not touched by the fire, yet there right. were flames around, just like the bush. Um, next week, don't want to miss it, we're going to continue. Moses, yes, continues. He goes back to Egypt, and we will see all the plagues that uh, happened to Egypt, and, and finally letting the Israelites leave Egypt like God had planned for them all along. So, we'll find that... Uh, just with us in life, sometimes uh, the thing that is keeping us in bondage, the thing that's giving us trouble, um, it seems to last a whole lot longer than what we want. But God says He will, you know, eventually things get better. But 
when you're going through it, you, you don't see the end. Um, but God does. So we have to put, that's why we put our faith in Him. Yep, and faith is really important, and, and putting our trust in God is also important, too. And that's what Moses is about to do. So I'm pretty excited to find out what happens in our next week. But I think, Miss Diane, that we should pray yes. this <clears throat> week and see uh, see where that takes us. Okay. Would you like to pray for us? I would week? love to pray for okay. us this week. Ready, kids? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you so much for this day. We thank you for the lessons and the stories that you tell us, Lord, of how you saved multiple people from a lot of different things, Lord. We love when we get to see your glory and your divine power in a story, just like the burn, the burning flames in the bush. Lord, we pray that you would just bless the kids this week, help them to show their faith to others, help them to trust in you, and help them to call on you when they need you. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey kids, we're not done yet. No, no, almost, but not yet. What are we missing? Jokes from, from the, the bucket. bucket. Woo! Woo! All right, Miss Diane. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick one. Okay, you pick one. And then, and then you're gonna read it for me. Okay. okay. Sometimes I have trouble reading. All right. Um, I think this one looks good, Miss Diane. It says. Karate. Karate. Oh, Miss Crystal. Children, what is this? Pirate. I was she so was close. very close. Very close. Karate. That was French. That was French. Karate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this joke is about a pirate. Miss Crystal, I have. We need to maybe. Pirate attire. Do we need to dress this up? I think we do need to dress All this right. up. Alright. Um, would you like to be the pirate? I would love to be the pirate. This is all, all we have in pirate gear, but everyone, every pirate has an eye patch. That's true. Every pirate I've ever seen. And this one is one-eyed Willie. <laughs> okay, so now that you're channeling your inner pirate. I am. I'm are, channeling my inner are, pirate. She's, she, yes. You're going to get Are her. you ready? Yes. Are you ready, children? Yes. Okay. Why couldn't the pirate, or parate, play cards? Hmm. Well, it's probably because he had to walk the plank. No. No. Hmm. Did he, did, did he forget to swab the deck? It's because no. he used the captain's leg to plug a hole. Oh, well that would get you not wanting to play cards. You'd be probably walking the plank. <laughs> probably. Probably. The yeah, plank. do not take the captain's leg and use it as a mop. Not a good idea. Um, okay, no. I think you're going to have to tell us. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to tell you. Okay, why couldn't the pirate play cards? The answer, because he was sitting on the deck. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that joke is aces in my book. Alright, so that's the joke for the day. Now, craft. Oh yeah, we Boring. definitely need a craft. It's about parates. No, it's not about parates or pirates. Um, today's craft, you can do a couple different crafts if you'd like. For today's craft, we made our own little basket for the baby. Now I made this out of construction paper. I just took a piece of paper and I cut slats in it and then I took other pieces of, of different colored construction paper and I just weaved it like a basket. So you could do a basket or you could draw a picture of Moses in the basket. Yep. Or you could make a baby for the basket too. You can make a baby. You could make a basket out of Play-Doh and let it harden. You can use that it. That works. Um, or you could do a burning bush. You could make a bush. Just don't set anything on fire. Yeah, no real fire. No, like bad. maybe tissue paper flames or yeah, you know. fake fake ones. <clears throat> yeah, fake ones. Okay. So, or you can make your own pharaoh hat. You could make your own pharaoh hat. <coughs> that would be fun. Okay. And we would love to see all your creations. If you would send them to Pastor Pete at pc at rcnaz.org or put them up on the Royersford Facebook Nazarene yes. uh, page. Um, we got a great picture from the Duncan girls last week 
on the, the the princess and the and the king hats that we uh, we asked you guys to make, and you guys awesome. did a wonderful job. And uh, we also want to thank Miss Teresa for last week for helping us out. So we yes. appreciate that. And this week for Mr. Elijah. Mr. Elijah. Who did a phenomenal pharaoh. Yep. And you might see him again. Never oh, know. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. So until next time. We love you. We love you. Take we care. Miss you. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. It's time.